Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandrika and this is Rika Life. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and all the new faces coming in from all over YouTube. A very warm welcome to you and there's lots of yarning goodness on this channel. So stay tuned, definitely like my videos and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so today I am pleased to share with you um, a larger project that I was working on. Um, I found yarn, burnout blanket yarn on sale at Joann's um, a couple months ago. So I got really excited. I think it was on sale for, it's down from like, I want to say $11.99 or $12.99. It was on sale for $7.99. So I decided to pick up some. I bought it in four different colorways. And now I'm pleased to say that I've made the second colorway. So two are done and I have two more colors. Um, one of the colors is right back here. It's, um, I can't remember the name of the color, but it has um, pinks, like a variety of pinks in there. And then the other color that I have is a yellow color, like a very nice bright yellow. So. I started this blanket um, in the same way I did the first blanket. So I've done all half double crochets in the space between the stitches in the round below. And I'm trying to see where is the beginning of the blanket because, yeah, I think this is, yeah. So this is how this blanket started out. It had this really nice effect going kind of looked it was like planned fooling um, and I got really excited that oh the whole blanket is going to be like this no this was just the first skein the first ball and then it went crazy and that's what the rest of the ball looks like the rest of the ball is just this mix up of all these blues and this is a burnout blanket yarn called water slide variegated and it kind of still looks like it has some effect going I don't know so I used an M hook M for Mary a nine millimeter M hook this is a Susan Bates hook so it has that nice inline I think it's called inline and I used one, two, three, four um, balls. And I will tell you about the yarn. So this is Yarn Inspirations Burnett Blanket Brights. And it does recommend an M, so that's good. Uh, it's a super bulky number six. Recommends, oh, well on here it says L or M. So L and eight millimeter, I used a nine millimeter. Machine washable and dryable, which is always great. 100% polyester, 10.5 ounces or 300 grams, 220 yards or 201 meters. I thought this was a really good deal for something that's 220 yards to be just $7.99 per ball. So I think I have, I used four, but I have one more. I have the fifth one. And then I had, I think I have like, I bought five or six of each color. So now two of the colorways are officially done. And so, as I was explaining, I just made half double crochets. These are all half double crochets. And then I just made them in the spaces of the row below. So I didn't have to work into the top of any stitch. I just worked into the spaces in between the stitches, which made it a very enjoyable project. Um, this blanket yarn is like lush it's just luscious it's nice and soft and snuggly and cuddly and this one is not staying with me this one is actually going to my niece in Canada so I would have sent this last week if I knew that my brother was visiting Canada I would have shipped it to him and he could have taken it with him but alas I didn't know about his exact dates until kind of the last minute and so I am going to hold on to this until I can get it to my niece. Um, I might be visiting in the summer, so I guess I could just take it with me then. 
and save on all the shipping costs. Oh, I didn't show you how big it is. So I will, it is this much this wide. So, and let's just stand up and see. So now it's touching the ground and it's coming to about my shoulders. And I am five, five. Yeah, I'm measuring five, five. Yeah, I'm five, five, five foot, five inches. So it's long enough. It's going to a soon to be 12 year old. So it's kind of cool that the top of this has like this effect. It kind of makes it look like it's a border, except it's not. And then let me just see if I go to the bottom of the blanket. If I go to the bottom of the blanket, it also is kind of just this busyness and it doesn't have any rhyme or reason. Sorry about that. I'm recording while my kids are at home. So we had a bit of a storm this morning, um, a very big storm, flooding, everything. So uh, school was kind of let out early today and then tomorrow is going to be a... Um, off day so yay three day long weekend yay for mommy <laughs> it's okay it's fine i'll manage i'll have less crochet time but um yeah anyways as i was saying the bottom of this has no rhyme or reason but the top of this does so i would have really liked if the top of it could have been you know if it could have continued this kind of pattern because i thought it looked so cool so this just reminds me of like a swimming pool or like summer, just something very like fun and bright. And so, and it's like very, very soft. The good thing is it's machine washable and dryable and that's why I didn't make it too big. I had a fifth ball, but I didn't use it. So I think this would be okay to put in the wash. It's not too heavy. I can imagine putting in the wash as long as they have a big washing machine like me and you can see my ends i haven't woven in my ends yet i promised that i would weave in my ends before i showed this to you but clearly i haven't done that so that is my warm blanket project i know some of you are in colder climates right now some of you are in warmer climates i'm in a warmer climate but um this is going to cold canada so it will be fine so yes, I wanted to share that with you. Now, I want to share with you my oopsie, okay? I have mentioned um, that I made, so I am making for the second time uh, a pattern called the Jelly Bean Blanket, okay? It's a really beautiful pattern. Just go on YouTube and search for Jelly Bean Blanket and it has these beautiful rows of um, I want to say half double crochet and rows of the jelly bean, the, the bean stitch, okay? And it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna show you the first one I made. The second one is still a work in progress and I've just made very, very little progress on it because I've been working on other projects. But for this one, uh, it looks beautiful, but it has some problems. So I don't know if I will be donating this or gifting this or just keeping it. I don't know. I will show it to you though. So I use two different yarns. One is a uh, Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. That's the, this color here. The other one is a Hobby Lobby Yarn B yarn. And that's that color there. So you can see that detail up close and it just keeps alternating. So it goes rows of half double crochet and rows of the bead stitch. I really, really loved making the bead stitch. And I have to say, I found this project to be so, so relaxing, just like a breath of fresh air. It felt like listening to your favorite song, honestly, it felt so good. And so, I got caught up in it and I wasn't paying too much attention, but look at this. It's going in, 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 and look at the other side. The other side is even worse. The other side is just super wonky too. 
Um, I'm going to fold it and show it to you so you can tell that I'm not exaggerating. It's actually not even at all. So it's fine. I mean, I think this is the first time I've done something like this with a blanket where it's so uneven and that's just because I got caught up in it and I stopped paying attention. So this is me holding it up. That's the center of it. I folded it in half and that's the side of it. It's clearly so much bigger at the bottom and then I kept losing stitches. I'm back. Not only do I have two kids at home right now, I have two flies in my house. Like not mosquitoes, like actual flies, and they are driving us crazy. One was just in this room buzzing around, and I was like, I can't record like this. So I got it out of my room, trying to get it out of the house. I keep finding it on the front door, and then I'll open the door a crack to let it go out, and it keeps flying back into my face. It doesn't know how to get out of the house. Anyways, so this blanket <clears throat> is done, but it's not straight at all. <clears throat> but it's so pretty like this line brown ice cream yarn is so pretty and then what I did is it had that mint green in it and so I matched it with that so I've used two I've used um, I've used one ball of just this green and I want to say this looks like more than one ball. This looks like almost two balls of this color. But of course now I won't remember because I have thrown away all my tags, all the labels. Before I was collecting the labels and I even like counted the labels and saw how many of every yarn did I use. And now I'm like, I'm done, throw it out. I'm done, throw it out. It's like throwing them away. But I really enjoyed this project. I really love this yarn, ice cream yarn. It is beautiful. This is just the regular ice cream, not the big scoop. Um, I can show it to you. And I loved this yarn. I used an H five millimeter hook throughout this project. And I loved it so much that I'm making it for a second time. Um, I joined a live a couple of weeks ago, just for a couple minutes with um, Rose over at Rose Likes to Crochet. Okay, I completely lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Yeah, so I was on a live with Rose and uh, we started talking about this blanket and evidently a lot of people have made this blanket. So I think it's a pretty popular pattern. And if you have not seen it yet, I definitely recommend you to go and search for it on YouTube, the Jelly Bean Blanket. There's another blanket that I saw that reminded me of this. Now, of course, I can't remember the name. What was it called? Something with baby in the name. Sweet Dreams Baby or something. I'll, I'll, I'll try and find that. But that's another pattern I saw that reminded me of this. And I think I might want to give that a go as well. So, yeah. These baby blankets are, like, one of my favorite things to make. So you can see what it looks like. It still looks very nice. It's just very not straight, but you know, we're not trying to be perfectionists here. We're just trying to make art and art can get messy because the artist gets caught up in the stitches and forgets that there are rules for the sides. So for this one, it said that uh, the chain two for the first half double crochet this chain two doesn't count as a half double crochet so you're supposed to make another half double crochet in there which of course I didn't do then it says the chain three does count as a stitch and there's just like a couple of these rules that I so what I did is I was working on this then I put it away then when I was trying to work through all my widths I pulled this out and I was like oh I remember how to make the bead stitch I remember that there's two rows of half double crochets let me just go at it and this is what happened I finished it but it's not, um, it's not like this perfect, perfect blanket. So, whoops, I'm sorry. So, I might still be donating it because it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty and it's so soft. 
even this yarn was really nice and I just loved working on this project so that's why I wanted to share it with you and to let you know that I'm making another one so the second one I'm making is also with the line brand ice cream yarn in the color raspberry ripple I think raspberry something and that has that's kind of similar to this color it has a uh, pinks purples and whites I think in it so I'll be right back okay so what else I wanted to share with you and I shared this in the community post uh, is that I finally started designing a few more pieces I have been on in like this lull for a couple of months um, I know it's May now um, happy May to you all I I've known that I want to design things I didn't know what I wanted to design and then I kept receiving comments about my first hat that I uh, the tutorial I made for my dreamy beanie hat and uh, the written pattern that I have on Ravelry and I just kept getting really good feedback on that so I told myself hey maybe just try designing another hat and lo and behold what happened is I designed two hats and <laughs> it felt so nice I just sat down and I just um, started making hats and I started writing down the pattern and now I have two hat patterns and I've, I'm working on one that was my plan for today was to sit down and actually record a tutorial but because we had a storm I couldn't do that and it looks like it'll be next week now so um, I didn't lose my crojo at all I've been crocheting a lot but I lost that um, that sense of inspiration that flow of being able to sit and be creative and design something and so now I finally got that back and I'm just like so relieved because it's been weeks and I you know I've been I've been telling some people close to me that you know I want to make something I want to design something but I just can't wrap my head around it it's not it's not working out and you know I really had to tell myself that give it time have some patience trust this process you know trust that there are more things coming down the pipeline and it just hasn't come to you yet. So I've been up the last couple of nights just crocheting like crazy because I had ideas and writing things down and testing out my pattern. And so I shared a little sneak peek of one of the pictures. It's like just seeing, seeing the colors. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, when you subscribe, you'll be able to see I have a community tab and on there I post um, almost every single day. I try to share something in my crochet world and then I try of course to have at least two videos per week. This week and last week I've had three videos every week which is nice. I don't know if I can sustain that so I might be back to two videos next week. I'm not really sure but I hope you are enjoying my content and I'm receiving so many nice comments from all of you and I really really appreciate them and I appreciate the time that you take to write to me and to share with me your experience and what you're making I always love hearing what you're making so write down below in the comments let me know what are you making what is your plan for this weekend what projects are you doing have you bought any new yarn all your fun crochet things I would love to hear about them so again thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it as always, I hope you have a wonderful crochetful day and I'll see you again soon.